was it instant that you were able to leave alcohol or how did i'm assuming that was also a process like you found god and then what so basically i found god and i was on this new journey of hope if you will like i had no direction i realized that i realized that anything that i like all the plans that i would make would crumble if i wasn't letting god lead me because obviously i led myself to 3 dwi so at this point i was like okay i'm going to step aside and i'm going to let god take the wheel so long story short i just was in the moment of surrender i mean i was at this time now i completed the program i'm 29 i'm living at my mom's house in a twin bed and i'm like all right, people are getting married and buying houses and I'm living with my mom now in a twin bed. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just living off hope. I'm just gonna, God, I'm gonna live off God's promises. And that's exactly what I did. I lived every day in the moment and I just had hope that if I did the next right thing and if I listened to the Holy Spirit and I let it guide me, like it's one thing to hear the Holy Spirit, but it's another thing to follow through. And if I follow through and let faith be my eyes. And that's such a valuable uh, phrase. People are like, oh yeah, let faith. No, no, no. Like literally that discernment, when you hear the Holy Spirit, you have to follow it. And that's where the faith is activated.